at one meter 90 I hit water and I have drilled down to two meters 90 so just short of three meters down and I have one meter of water anyway I'm going to do a little bit more but I feel I've hit a stone now that I can't move so I'll probably call it a day but this goes to show how effective this amateurish contraption may be for getting through gravel and, uh, and, and sand the auger was stuck but with this I brought up this la rather large piece of flint yeah this is the stone Let's put this down and see. Hmm, might have freed up. Let's see what's in the plastic bucket. Oh, you actually got a big one. There are. Yeah. Yeah. Not huge. Yeah, it's quite big. Ah, oh, look, David. There's the big stone. Ha! There it is. Flint. Okay, I really, really have stopped drilling now. That's quite a bit further down, isn't it? I, I can see the water now. Okay, that's the water come clean now. As you can see, it's raining. But you can see that our water from the well, and look at that pressure. I'm sure the neighbours will think I've gone crazy because I'm going to water the lawn in the rain. But this is going to be a flow test. So I'm going to go onto a sprinkler, typical sprinkler. Switch it on now and let's see how long it lasts. Okay, let's see how long that keeps going for. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, really. That's uh, just shy of 10 minutes. It managed that full, um, the full spray there and now it's sucking air. So I'll go and, uh, I'll go and turn the pump off. Okay, I haven't given the well a great deal of time to recover, but um, the yeah, weather's not so great. I want to crack on with this. Okay, I'll see how that gets on. Okay, after over an hour on this hand spray, I plugged in this end, which gives uh, a greater spray, and it's still producing water. What it basically tells me is we've got a constant flow of water that we could take, probably better into a buffer tank. Straight from my well. Incredible. <laughs>